Whoops. Okay. I need tour music. Is there such thing? House tour music. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. So let me remind you, first and foremost, every item that I own, for every item I own, I'm missing three items. Actually, let me rephrase. For every one item that I own, I'm missing five items. Okay. So let's just start at the top. This is a Mega Man lanyard. It's green and there's no keys on it. Don't remember where I got it. This is a homemade box. Somebody actually built this for me. Uh, it's just like a white box with a bunch of like paper taped and cut out. Somebody's mom actually made this for me. I think my friend Sean, his mother made it. Uh, I forget what it's called, a shadow box, I think, right? So you're supposed to like put stuff in it. But you can see it's... It's thick. There's some stuff going on there. Robot Master stuff. Uh, here's Mega Man cereal. I have just casual four boxes of Mega Man cereal. Sitting on the shelf. Don't eat it. It's actually really bad. I mean, I thought, oh, how bad could it be? It's like eating Fruit Loops, but they're all blue. Except it's trash. It's like eating cardboard circles. It's really bad. Um, here are some art cells that I kind of threw together in a frame with the certificate of authenticity. These were in the uh, Ruby Spears anime. I own Guts Man's ass, so that's pretty cool. Uh, of course, you have uh, the statues. 25th anniversary mini statue, bubble lead. Uh, this is just a picture. I actually made this. Um, let me see if I can show you. I cut out a bunch of different pictures and I literally just glued them on here like this. So there's not much to say here. Yeah, how's the tour going so far, guys? Is this the right way to do it? Can you hear me okay? Can you see things clear? Are we lagging? Am I, am I too low? Talk to me here. I'm about to go ham. I need to know that we're good, though. Hello, am I live? You there? Someone die? Hold on, where's my chat? There you guys are. All right. Let's continue. Thank you, Nathanol. Peace of mind. What do you mean, overview? Okay, so this is a Mega Man Universe uh, headband. It's a Ryu headband from Street Fighter. Ryu is on the other side, on the red side, and Mega Man's on the blue side. Pretty standard stuff. I'll pull it back so you see how it's organized, if that's what you mean. But I didn't, I didn't get to some of this yet. But yeah. Oh, you mean up here? How I have it? There's not much going on back here. My light totally just fell. See that? We, we call that bad. This is bad. B-A bad. Turns out when you have 6,000 cables behind your TV, that's going to happen. Hold on, Jabrones. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Why do I feel like the camera keeps tearing? Not good. Uh, Tron and Kobun figurine. Pretty standard. Capcom Girls Collection. Uh, there we go. These are called Dorbs, because they're adorable. 
Atomic Fire, regular Mega Man. These are Capcom shot glasses. I only own them because Mega Man's on one of them. But we have Arthur, Street Fighter, and... Or Arthur, Ryu, and Cody from Street Fighter. That's, uh, this is a homemade picture. Somebody that I used to know literally years ago painted this for me. So nothing crazy, just something fancy. Painted Tronbon and the Gustav with serve bots. And you guys know this guy. That's the mascot of the stream. He's in rough shape. He fell like 10 times, got busted open. I had to use yellow duct tape to seal his head. So he's in rough shape. Uh, let's skip over to here real quick. This box is uh, the Mega Man X statue box that this came in. 25th anniversary. Nothing fancy. It's numbered on the other side. It's like, I don't know, one or I don't remember the number. It's like X out of X. This is Giga Armor, a Mega Man X like model kit. I actually just got this for Christmas a few months ago for my boy Joffrey. Shout out to Joffrey. Um, I would never put this together or open it. It looks pretty intricate. There's a shit ton of pieces, but pretty cool. Uh, this is a Buster Schematic. Christmas Ham got me this for Christmas a few years ago. Shouts to Christmas Ham. I think he got these on Etsy. And then there's a Proto equivalent on the other side of the wall. Kind of hard to see there, but... Um, we have this giant pop figure cardboard cutout that I literally took from Walmart last week. I went to Walmart to buy these black shelves that you see here. And I saw this guy in the electronics department. So I literally took it, put it in my car and walked out of the store with it. Uh, so yeah, this is a Mega Man E-Tank cardboard box. It had a shirt in it. So this is empty. And it's kind of damaged. I actually have a lot of damage stuff from the move. Not happy to admit it, but we don't lie around here. Uh, this, I didn't know where else to put this, but this is from UMVC3. Iron Man, Morgan, Mega Man Zero, and Red Hulk. So of course the reason we have that is for Zero. And you see Mega Man Zero's displayed there, so it's good enough. That's a handmade giant piece of wood somebody painted for me. I showed them my Mega Man collection, and then I came into work the next day, and that was on my desk. So somebody made that for me. It's like inch thick wood. Pretty cool, painted on both sides. Uh, Mega Man 11 Dr. Wily diorama. Um, I could, you know, move it and show it off but use your imagination it's dr wily and it's cool uh sealed Mega Man 11 strategy guide hardcover shout out to my friend nicole missile for she works at gamestop and she shipped that to me from pennsylvania i have a Mega Man universe lance this is from the game Mega Man universe that never came out arthur from uh ghosts and goblins it's his lance and it's a giant blow up toy pretty sick this is um i actually just bought this picture on ebay because it's obviously amazing and then i just found some shitter frame and just put it in the frame behind that is actually uh the mona lisa but a medusa so if i were to rip the mega man artwork off of the frame it would be a mona lisa that's a medusa and it looks super sick but not as sick as Mega Man. Uh, where are we? Dr. Why are we? This uh, is kind of new. This just came out not too long ago. Nothing fancy there. Yo, b b b b Rogaine. What's up, man? Shouts to Rogaine. He will be in this room, standing right here. Right here. In like a week or something. Like 10 days. Uh, this is a Mega Man Nintendo. I painted this with car paint and painter's tape. I actually left the painter's tape on it. 
I don't know why. Don't ask why. It looks stupid. It looks bad. It looks good. I don't care what you think. And I signed it. That's my initials. A.M. And I slapped a sticker on it, painted it with car tape, and that's it. Mega Man Nintendo. Bam. Uh, Mega Man board game. You can't see shit because of the glare. This is still sealed. Never played it. Would like to, but never played it. Maybe one day. Oh my god, I forgot about these! Okay. So you guys see where all the blank spots are on the walls? I can use these wall clings and literally put these everywhere where there's a blank spot. So we'll have Mega Man hopping around, shooting shit all over the room. I don't mind doing it because these are already opened. I'll show you if I can take it out here. These were a nightmare to get off the ceiling, but here's an idea of one. I might regret doing this. But they're really big. So you just stick these bad boys on your wall. Pretty cool. Um, how do I get this back in? Okay. Where are we? Okay. Next. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Next. Oh, we're getting to Sonic. Don't even worry. I didn't dust these off. On the top of the cards are pretty dusty. I was lazy and excited, so I just threw them on the shelf. And I'm not about to change the angle, so you guys can get over it. You can just look at whatever's here. Um, but yeah, sealed NT Warrior collection. It's actually a whole shelf full of them, but we'll get there. Yo, Dark motherfucking Zoma in the house? Are you kidding me, bro? What year is this? 2020? 2020? Dark Zone is here? Damn! Long time no see, man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where are we at? Okay. This is my pride and joy right here. This is a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Tournament Edition fight stick that I modded and I put serve bot stuff all over it. And I made the buttons. The buttons have stickers on them that represent different serve bot faces. And I have an American... Uh, ball head because I like the or I like the American version more. So yeah, it's my modded fight stick. Love that thing. It works for PS3. Uh, we got a lot of doubles. You're gonna see just like these four boxes of Mega Man cereal and my row of Elect Men that are behind Elect Men. I have a lot of duplicates. Uh, this is the first duplicate though. Mega Man 11 Block Man box set thing. I wish they came out with these for every other character. Imagine having a Tundra Man figure. But yeah. Um, these are old. But you have Proto Man, Shadow Man, and Elect Man. Um, I don't want to move this, but God damn it, Butcher. This is our 80 games in one Mega Man Wily Wars Street Fighter and this asshole. I don't know who that is. Oh, yeah. And of course, piles and piles and piles of... I'll show you. Mega Man Comics? It's a nice hand, bro. So let me show you some of this. I know all you Sonic fans will appreciate this. This is a part of the tour. I can't just say, here's my pile of comics. I should probably show them off quick. Okay, speed tour. I'm gonna drop these on the floor like an asshole, ready? And then there's a variants that have black and white covers. 
Who is this guy? Yo, that is so cool. Bam! We don't talk about that. AKA, just kidding. I guess a lot of these are upside down and stuff. These are some good readings too, by the way. I had multiple, uh, wait, are these doubles? Yeah, I had multiple subscriptions. So I would get, the idea was to have two subscriptions, one that I open and read, and then stuff like this that's sealed still. This has my old address, so you can steal my information. I don't care. Um, but yeah, got some st stuff still sealed. There's some variants of them. All right, let's go faster. Yeah, that had Sonic on it too. Wait, who is that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, he looks so sick. Oh my God, that butt chin? Yo, I have a butt chin. It's getting white though. But yeah, these are like some of the best reading you can ever read. And you guys know I hate reading. I don't even read chat. If you guys are typing, I'm not even reading it. But this I'll read. Here you go. It does look really sick. You'll never hear me say that. You have no proof I just said that. Some doubles there, I think. Oh yeah, so here's an example. I don't know where it went, but you might have saw this. This is a variant of the same one I just showed you. These ones are in like cardboard sleeves still. And then, yeah, you get the idea. But the rest of these are sealed. Camera, please. And this is what happens when you don't take care of your stuff. You just throw it on the floor like you don't care. Don't do that at home. So, yeah, I could have said, hey, guys, there's all my comics, but I'd rather give you the deep tour. How deep can you go? Uh, while I'm down here, how you guys doing? God damn it, who made this mess? The art is so good though. I'm a sucker for good art, and this has really good art. Really good stories too. I mean, any comic where Sonic is killed by Mega Man is a good story. Okay. Uh, where was I? Yo, could I hire one of you guys to come be my cameraman? Because this shit's getting old. I have this thing. It's like a Time Man watch or desk clock or some shit. And then of course, uh, Legacy Collection 1 and 2. Yo, Tobble Piece. Thanks, homie. Spent a lot of years collecting this junk and a lot of time building shelves and moving into a place that's affordable and doing it right. And then this is really cool. Uh, 30th anniversary Capcom character encyclopedia. Some good stuff in here. M, 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 M. Hey! Yeah, cool stuff. Shouts to Capcom for taking my money since 1987. All right. Now we have to try to fit this shit in here. Everything was perfect. OCD's kicking in. God damn it. See, this is why we can't have nice things. Everything has a home, though. Okay, let's move along here. 
This box looks like somebody came to my house, threw it on the floor, jumped on it, and then threw it in the dumpster and jumped on it, and then took it out of the dumpster, proceeded to jump on it, and then ran over it with a car. So this box is in rough shape, but Dr. Wiry Rab, and it comes with Dr. Wiley. And we also have him down here praising the sun, but we'll get there. And then a zoomed up version of what I just showed you looks like this, as far as the top stuff. Stepping on Proto Man. Proto, please. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Origins poster. One of the coolest goddamn posters you'll ever see. Love this thing. Play like a hero, play like a legend, fight like a hero. Can't read, read like a legend. This is a Nintendo Power Magazine pullout. Mega Man 3 with a really, really unique art style. Except Needle Man looks normal. Everyone else is like a human robot face man. Pretty cool. Uh, back around to here. E-Tank mug. Okay, can I show you guys my most proudest collect... You know, a lot of people say, but we know. What is your favorite collectible item? Let me show you. In this mug... I have a wrapper of M&M's. It's worth literally negative cents, but it says Mega on it in blue. So I ate the M&M's or threw them away and I kept the bag. This is a non-Capcom Mega Man item and it's the best part of the collection. I don't even know if you can even get these anymore, but if you guys can find a bag of these, I'll buy them from you. Three times the chocolate. Best part of the collection. Obviously not, but you know, we could pretend. Good imagination around here. These are Japani uh, keychains from Mega Man X2. Question mark. Rockman and Forte? Question mark. I don't remember what these are, but they're cool. You see like Flamestag and Morph Moth, but you also see base, so I have no clue. Uh, an 8 gigabyte flash drive. I should probably be using that because it's cool as hell. I forget what these are called. Bobble Buddies. My friend Nicole got these for Christmas or birthday a few years ago. They come in a set of four. Mega Man's head's broken. But they're bobble heads. But his neck's broken. So I don't know how that works. I mean, it's not really broken, but you know. Uh, here's another E-Tank mug. I also have an E-Tank flask. But I don't drink. So I don't need a flask unless I go out to the desert and I can fill it up with water. Uh, pop figures. We got Proto Piece, Firestorm Piece, Gyro Attack with like 50 goddamn stickers on it. Not happy about it. Uh, Ice Slasher. Brack Hole Bam. Jump and Shoot Man. Retro, black and white, super nasty. Quick Boomerang. Napuam Buam. Mega Man X with a sticker over his face, which I don't want to show you. Sigma with a sticker over his face, I don't want to show you. Uh, Rush. Mega Man. Dr. Ryrie. Then I have a VGA graded uh, 70 Mega Man Extreme. If you see the Game Boy Color, the word color, the green R, there's a pin, there's a pinhole like 10 o'clock where the R is. If that pinhole wasn't there, this thing would be probably like a fucking 90 or 95. So yeah. Some asshole decided to put a hole in it and it's still really good condition. Um, yeah. I felt like there was something else I wanted to show you quick. I don't remember. Uh, moving on. I'm not going to take these out because they were a bitch to get in, but these are all the classic Mega Man 1 through 6 Famicom carts. Plus Wily and Light uh, Rock Board. Plus this is a this is actually Mega Man 6. This is a bootleg. This is Mega Man 6, but it has Mega Man 7 artwork. Rock Man 7, so it's a bootleg. I'm a sucker for bootlegs. I don't know why. Um, Rock Man 4 Famicom CIB complete in box. I don't know what the hell that is. 
I have Mega Man powered up, sealed. See if I can get a better angle. You can see see the gray cases. The left one is open and the right one's sealed. Mega Man powered up and Maverick Hunter. These blue things are mints, Mega Man mints. We have Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2, uh, Misadventures of Tronbon, Japanese version. Mega Man, uh, not DOS. Um, what is that? Just Mega Man 1 on computer game. Mega Man X4, Mega Man X3, Mega Man X4. I have black label and green label. Uh, greatest Hits Anniversary Collection, Misadventures of Trombon, Mega Man 8, Mega Man 8, another Mega Man computer game, Mega Man 9, Mega Man 10, Legends 2, uh, Mega Man, these are, the bottom two are computer games, like Rockman 1 through 6, or some, I have no idea, it's still sealed, and of course Mega Man 5, 4, 2 copies of 3, 2 and 1, and there's also 1 and 2 over here, so we have a couple 2 tree of them. Uh, Rockman and Dash Japanese version. All these carts are like Rockman Soccer, uh, Rockman X, X2, X3. Um, I don't even know what else. I guess we can look. I really don't want to, but I will. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Actually, let me see if I can prop this up. Make my life easy. If this camera falls, I'm going home. So Rockman 7, Rockman Forte, Butcher, what? Bro, come on, come on, come on, come on. I, I will admit, I do not have a Mega Man 5 complete in box. I'm going to start showing the complete in boxes in a little bit. I don't have too many of them because they're expensive. I don't know if you know this, but I'm jobless and shouldn't be buying Mega Man shit. Uh, Rockman Soccer. Rockman X3, X2, X, X2, X, X3 is, well, we'll, we'll hold on, we'll, we're getting there. I mean, for the record, I did tell you what was here, but I pulled it out anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, same game, American Japanese. Same game though. And then over here, dude, my OCD is off the charts right now. If this shit isn't like perfect, someone's getting banned. Okay. Uh, next, Mega Man 10. I don't know what that is, a Nintendo game. Probably Mega Man something. Uh, Mega Man Zero, Star Force 3. These are GameStop printout cases. Um, I printed them out when I worked at GameStop. Because it's better to have a print instead of having a black empty box. Uh, Tiger Handhelds, Mega Man 2 and 3. Literally the hardest games you'll ever play in your life. Coming back over to here. Um, more of the NT series. They all come with chips. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. I'm glad I remembered. So back up here to these figures. Some of these figures came with like a hand or a foot or a buster or a head or a leg. Like see right here it says Gutsman. It says Build-A-Bot collect all five pieces. Hard to get this camera angle but Gutsman. I don't know if it was like this across the board, but the one I have, Gutsman has the buster in it. And that's super sick. So yeah, that's what I meant to tell you before. But the same thing with these chippies. We do chip chips. Alright, Mega Man X2 sealed in the box. Sealed. Mega Man X1 buff, or uh, damage on that box. Mega Man 64, complete in box, sealed. Sorry, it's backwards. Uh, here's some Gigamex, Rockman, 
complete works, X complete works. This is a bootleg. Mega Man X7 on the left is a bootleg. Uh, network transmissions. We don't talk about that I'm missing uh, volume one. You see two, three, four, five, six, but you don't see one. We don't talk about that. Yes, you see three copies of Mega Man X7. We don't talk about that either. Double X collection. I just threw this on the shelf in no order, so that's why they're just kind of whatever. Uh, Rockman anime, command mission. And now these are... Yo, shouts to GameStop. If I catch somebody sticking a sticker on a Mega Man toy, I'm actually going to cut his hands off with cut man scissors. So shouts to GameStop for fucking up my uh, cut man. But yeah, these are Pixel Pals. Really cool. But I have them at an angle because... Yeah, deal with it. So I had to, I had to do it like that. Uh, Pharaoh Man Plushie may or may not stalk you when you're sleeping. He's pretty pissed. Love that guy. Um, D-Arts, or Darts, Vile. Super sick. And uh, Mega Man X. My friend Ryan Wood, aka Woodman, got this for me when he was at Disney. And Epcot. Here are three Mega Man VHS tapes. The boxes are older than you are, so they're damaged pretty poorly. We have the Big Shake, the beginning of Robisar Park, and all of these have been rewound because that's how I roll. Imagine owning a Mega Man VHS tape that's at the very end and not rewound. Come on, what year is this? Be kind, please rewind your Mega Man footage for the next user. Uh, see this giant hole? This hole is for the subscribers. I'm gonna start doing a new cringy, stupid thing where I put this on and I bust you. This is actually super warm in here. Let me take you inside. Isn't it cozy in here? So yeah, I'm gonna keep this off the shelf. For now. I'll probably just put it back on the shelf, though. But yeah, shout out to you guys. Hope you're enjoying the stream. It's been a long time in the making, but now I'm finally here in this room. Wait, can I do this? If I if I can do what I'm about to do... Oh my god, is this gonna work? Ugh! Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just gonna sleep right here in the corner of my room and do nothing. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of space in here, which is good. Uh, where were we here? Stop getting sidetracked, asshole. Now, uh, okay, so the hole there. So back to the retro figures. There's more retro figures. Yo, Andy Peace, what's up, man? Mega Flashlight? It's Roll. The Tron Bond one has screws in it. Okay. Uh, here's some loose Bondi figures. You see this guy down here that are sealed? Rush, Mega, and Bright Man. I don't want to talk about how much this Bright Man figure cost me. I don't care how much it's worth. We just don't talk about how much I paid for it. Uh, I don't have... I, I'm missing Snake Man and Drill Man. Uh, but these are the Bondi figures. A lot of them, except that little guy in the back. These are Mega Man Universe Foam Busters. Cut Man with two different scissors. Imagine going to the store and buying Cut Man. Which is that what it's supposed to look like. And then you get home and you friggin' have that in your head. Like, what is that? I'm missing Bomb Man's bomb. He's supposed to be holding a bomb. And that Mega Man all the way to the right is my oldest collectible in my entire room. If I were to tell you, hey Mega Moino, what is your very first Mega Man collectible? It would probably be that guy all the way to the right. So yeah, little uh, Mega Moino lore for you. So when I was a kid, you see this buster? 
if I can get a good angle. In, in, in Mega Man's Buster, first of all, Mega Man is jacked. He works out six times a day. But in his Buster, you can actually stick, like, that cut scissor. You can stick the weapons in his Buster and shoot them. When I was a kid, I literally used gum, chewing gum, and I put together Drill Man's Drill, Snake Man's Snake, Bomb Man's Bomb, and I literally used cinnamon big red chewing gum, and I stuck it all together, making one abomination of weapons. And I would stick it in Mega Man's Buster, and of course it was too heavy to shoot, but I would pretend that it would shoot. So when Mega Man would shoot it, he would be shooting a gum-glued abomination amalgam of scissors and drills and bombs, and it was absolutely stupid. And then I would take that and put it in the freezer so it would get really hard. But yeah, that was uh, when I was a kid. There's a little more lore for you. Uh, where are we going? Back here. More NT stuff. Kind of dark in this corner. But yeah. All the Soul series still comes with chips. Quick man. That's the same guy that I just showed you, my oldest collectible, but in the box still with a little Eddie. Proto piece. Beat with a real shooting weapon. Mega. Wait, what does that say? Wait, what is it? Wait, where where am I? Mega Man poster included. I mean, I I know I don't have the best vision ever, but I'm pretty sure there's no poster in here. All right, we call that robbery where I'm from. How is there a poster in there? Anyway, I'll pretend I didn't see that. Um. Black Zero, Red Zero, Black Axle, Red Zero. This Zero, the Metallic, does look pretty sick. Hold on, I'm deaf. I can't do anything when I'm deaf. Yo, where's like good music to do this to? Good enough. All right. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom, War Machine, and Mega Man. Mega Man has like a big missile launcher on his shoulder, uh, like a Giga Attack or whatever. Uh, he had that as his special in MVC2. And he's just like casually smiling with a giant humming missile launcher on his shoulder. This guy, I don't want to talk about this because he triggers me. So in case you can't tell by the setup, four figures, four figures, four figures, four figures. So that's a total of four, eight, 12, 16. This is the 17th guy and he, he has no room. So I literally had to squeeze him on this shelf by himself because he's an asshole. So he's just going to stay there. Um, Mega Man X4 diecast. It's not even a Hot Wheels. It's like, I don't know what it is. Yeah, he does butcher. Um, I have three Mega Man Eat Tank cans. You only see two of them because the other one is back there somewhere. Uh, where are we? Okay, more Retro Rotos. It's mirrored, right? Yeah, the same ones that are up top. Proto Shadow Elec are on the bottom. Proto Shadow Elec. So that's kind of me using redundant spacing. So when I eventually get more stuff, because you may be thinking to yourself, well, Mega Moino, what if you get new stuff? Where are you going to put it? The question is, I'm going to put these behind there. I have like four or five Elec men, two Proto men, Two Mega Man and only one Guts Man. And he's the best one, and I only have one. Feels bad, man. Turn copies of Mega Man X7? That's a good idea. Uh, where are we at? Down here. Okay, this might be my favorite part of the collection. Might. And we're not talking about the stuff I'm missing. Remember, you get banned for that. We talk about what I have, not what I don't have. With a Wind Man. Dr. Mustache. Charge, man. The blue dweeb, the red dweeb, Iceman number one, 
Proto Man, Stone Bro number one, Napalm Bro is best bro, Wave Bro is best bro, Ice Bro number two, Rush Piece, Sniffin' Ice Man's ass, Elect Piece, Guts Man fist in a bro, Fire Man burning a bro, Bomb Man is like, yo, mm-hmm, blurry as shit, Cut Man is, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, Dr. Light's like, yo, what can I fix? I have a wrench. Give me something to fix. Iceman number three. Stone bro number two. Rock bro number two with his abs. This is a Lego. Oh, wait a second. That Mega Man Zero thing up there that's really small at the bottom of the camera. It says Mega Man Zero. That's this guy, except out of the box. Yeah, sealed copies of X1 and 2. Well, I think two. One might... Wait, I can't tell if one has a seal on it. It might just be two. I know I know for a fact these two are sealed. These two. But X1 might be open, but it is complete in box. We're getting there, Ro. Calm down. X3 is the most expensive one. Uh, hold on, where am I going? Okay, back down here. Uh, these are... All of these are made by uh, B Bandai Namco. Except, I don't know what these last three are. These last three, Quickman, Base, and Proto, I don't know where these are from or what they're from. Couldn't tell you. No idea. This little box with this Mega Man, this Mega Man, had this uh, bubble lead helmet in it. I'm missing a ton, Butcher. I don't know if they actually made Mega Man 7 ones of these. They have to be Bondi specific minifigures because those that I just showed you, well, we're going to get there. Hold on. You're getting ahead of me. Uh, dot strap collection. Only one. This little rush boy didn't fit over here, but he should be with these two guys. He could go where the, uh, he could go where, wait, how many pegs is this? Never mind. Okay, yeah. These shelves are so stupid. All right, ignore me. This thing that's really hard to see is a Mega Man Legends Capcom clock. I can't really bend my camera more. But that thing that's really hard to see is a clock. That's an inflatable buster. I don't want to take it out because it's a pain in the ass to get in. Uh, these are three Mega Man blind box things. This is one of my favorite parts of the collection. So besides the fact that these were at like some mom and pop flea market and people stickered the shit out of these, I didn't have the guts to, the guts to take them off. Um, but yeah, these are, I love these things so much. These are the minifigures I just showed you, but uh, boxed. And it goes across here. Project X Zone. Yo, here's, here's a spoiler for you. I'm not sure if you guys thought, how, wow, Marino, how did you get these to get propped up? I will spoil and tell you that behind here are non-Mega Man items. There are actually DVDs behind there propping this shit up. But yeah, sealed copy of Project X Zone for 3 ds nuts. Please stay. Uh... Plushy helmet number one. Proto helmet number one. Mega helmet number two. Uh, uh, back to this crap. More uh, NT series stuff. More figures. Vial. X. Base. Another base. Another base. My favorite collectible of these series, of this series, Napalm Bomb Mega Man, is obviously the coolest thing ever. I mean, he comes with beat, so pretty sick. Uh, Mega Man X and Mega Man X. So there's metallic and non metallic. <laughs> here is. I wish the camera stretched more here. Mega Man 2 complete in box. In some rough shape. Rockman 2, complete in box. That's the PAL version of Mega Man 2, with the best artwork ever. Uh, Mega Man 4, complete in box. Mega Man 10, promo press kit sealed. 
that's probably my, one of my top three favorite collectibles in the room. If you were to say Merino, you have to run in your room and grab three things to take with you and say screw everything else. I'm pretty sure this is one of them. This, if I can point. This, hands down, would be one of the three. Uh, Famicom Soccer Complete in Box, Rockman X3 Complete in Box, Battle for Future Mega Man DVD, Wily Wars, Mebos. I don't. I either never owned the gold one or I lost it. I think I would remember if I owned it. I actually don't know. The point is, I don't have it if I did. But the Mega Man Gold Amiibo came with the 3DS or something. This is just like some shitter Mega Man 11 figure. Yo, I do what I can, DigiPiece. And then this is actually a painting. But I didn't, as you can tell up here, I only have so much wall space. So I just kind of did a lazy man's filler. So I put a picture as one of the shelves. You probably didn't even notice until I pointed it out. But so now we have our light switch and our fan. And the reason I know is because the yellow string means light and I don't know don't ask these are my closet doors I ripped off my closet here's a homemade this I'm embarrassed to even show you this because it's ruined but I made this um, I'll get real close I colored and made all these with highlighter and pen so the dark blue is pen the red is pen I literally colored and drew all of these I just want to get zoomed in so you can see the pen marks in airman or anywhere so I colored all these and then I um, put it to a scanner and copier and I copied them all. So basically, except for it being all messed up and broken, it used to look sick. It was, uh, it was colored on the bottom and black and white on top. And it, it says Mega Man, but it also says like a Mega Man. -im? It was, it's just the style I did it because it wouldn't fit. So leave me alone, it's homemade. This is also ruined, but I love it. Non-Mega Man, this is a Dark Souls boss uh, thing I made. I fucking love this, it's so dark and sick looking, but I have no room to put it. Not to mention this is a Mega Man room. I have my Apex Twin poster listen to Apex Twin right now. I have... I'm not even gonna... I sh oh my god! Okay, everything's fine. Okay, that was scary. Okay. So in here, I'm not gonna go too crazy, but I have Tomb Raider sealed, Hitman strategy guide sealed, a bunch of unsealed, just like trash strategy guides, God of War, so these, this is literally a whole box of strategy guides from when I worked at GameStop. They would throw them away, but instead of throwing them away, I would just keep them because I don't know. Why the hell not? I'm, I'm a little bit of a hoarder. Not too bad. Uh, this is a box of cables. But Marino, why are you showing me a box of cables? I don't care. Well, you will when you see. I mean, you can't really see. But this is a big ass box. And basically where that white sticker is going down. Nothing but cables. Cable, 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 cables. So if you guys need cables, I'm your guy. Uh, here's some stuff that's not set up yet. Some consoles. Atari 7200. Wii U. The Zelda version with the gold and black trim. I don't know if the camera's even picking that up. N64, PS1, Dreamcast, PS2, Wii, Xbox. Forgot to put these back. PS3 Slim. Nintendo. Bro. They've seen better days. Here's a box of. Yeah, no Mega Drive. 
Here's my SNES with a flash card in it. Controllers all over the place. This is my old band merchandise. When I was in a band, we made shirts. This is a size large. So this whole tote is full of my band shit. Our band was called Reptilian Dream. And I have a shitload of stickers, like bumper stickers that were printed. And I also have uh, panties. Our band sold panties. So we got panties made with our logo on them. I designed the logo too. Shouts to your girlfriend. She'll never wear these. But yeah. If you guys want to buy some old band panties, let me know. I'll hook you up. Here's some of our old demos. Like old, old before. Oh my god, MySpace, bro? Oof. Oof. This blue chest down here is full of Star Wars collectibles. It used to be my dad's. Uh, in here, this box has Jenga, and it's full of Nine Inch Nails CDs and Apex Twin CDs. This box, which I am having a hard time showing you, this are the Mega Man stuff that would not fit on the shelf. So everything in that big box with the green sticker is Mega Man stuff, but it won't go anywhere. So, feels bad, man. Uh, where were we? Here's some more Mega Man crap. So this Buster, it sat in storage for like a year, and it got so hot in storage that it actually left like a mark. So it, it ruined the case that this is in. This isn't a big case. And you can see how it got so hot it got glued to it, so that got ruined. Um, oh yeah, I made this. Dark Souls. This took me at least eight hours to make. So I got a strategy guide, a Dark Souls strategy guide from, or Demon Souls, Dark Souls, both. Strategy guide from work. And I literally cut out every freaking detail, everything. I cut all these out and made a giant collage of all the bosses. So let me find like Ceaseless Discharge. Look at, I had to cut all that out. It wasn't fun, but it's super sick. I fucking love this thing. Again, I made it. Uh, what else? Oh, shouts to Gravelord Nito. I forgot who got me this, but this is like a hand painting. Oh God, of Gravelord Nito signed by somebody. This thing is super sick too, but again, nowhere to put it. Uh, Mushuga. Uh, very inspiring as far as drums, which my some of my drums are up there on the closet. I have a Mayan calendar that I got from Cancun. Pretty sick. And here's the creepiest thing, uh, creepiest thing you'll ever see in your life. You're not ready. I promise you're not ready. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. Hello. Wait, where's your hand? Oh, hello, everybody. I was like $200 when I was in Prague. And I bought this because I thought it was a good idea. It's made out of porcelain. And it's creepy as fuck. And no one should spend $200 on this. And it looks like I'm waxing my bean. I'm so excited I'm waxing my bean. <laughs> But how creepy is this, dude? I should hang him up somewhere. Hang him from the, the lamp? He's creepy as fuck. But when I was in Europe, I bought it. It reminded me of Europe. Actually, it reminds me of the dummy, uh, the marionette dummy in Goosebumps. Uh, what else? Anything else I wanted to show off? Not really. There's not much else to see. I mean, there's boxes behind boxes that have... Oh, wait, I know what I can show. My blood pressure. All right, so hold on. There's this stuff. I am literally tangled up in here. Yeah, goosebumps is key. 
All right, so this is a big boy box. Bam! The sealed Figma statue of Samus. Samus, 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 Samus. Uh, sealed copy of Dark Souls Design Works. Pretty sick. Uncharted 3 Collector's Edition. Some more strategy guides. Dark Souls 2 stuff, a sealed Kratos figure. These are plastic statues of Smo and Ornstein from Dark Souls. Here's a Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition, which I'm too lazy to pull out of the box. Yeah, too lazy to pull out of the box. And then there's more shit in there too. So all this is like Collector's Editions that are non-Mega Man. Stuff over here is like consoles and wires and strategy guides and pictures. Uh, half of my drum set is still in my car, the other half is in the closet. Eventually, where you see this, in the closet, is going to be my drum kit. So it's going to wrap around like this, like semicircle. So the kick drum will come out to about here, and it'll be all the way back in the closet. And if you guys are lucky enough, one day, I will go ham and play drums on stream. And then as soon as my landlord comes to the door, I will uh, ignore him and keep playing. But yeah, this is uh, this is our life now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's uh, it was a long, a lot of work in the making. I've only been talking about this room and stuff for literal years. So the fact that I don't know, it took a while to set up and do it right, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Uh, hold on, give me a second here. All right, I need a uh, Dudley Extend. Bam. Okay. Let's get the right camera angle. Let's pull up our pants, show off our hairy belly, put this shit away, sit down, stand up, sit down again, stand up again. And now let's get the perfect angle. And it just happens that all 12 of these shelves fit at the right angle somewhere around around here. Question mark. Good enough. All right, so now asking you, what is your favorite part of the collection? If you can come in this room right now and take one item home with you, what would it be? What would it be? Alright, um, I guess the last piece of Tor I can show off, even though I kind of did this already, but I'm really excited about it, but yeah. Shoutouts to my beautiful grandparents who passed away last year. Um, I had to put them in here, so I have my grandmother on the top left corner, my grandfather on the top right, with the blue, or the LED, so pink for her, blue for him. I have, uh, streaming light. A blackout curtain for a window and audio acoustic panels on each side my setup is an LCD TV on top of a CRT TV a giant friggin TV a little monitor and I don't know how to can I turn lights on my computer without the remote my computer is not doing much of anything but it should be all lit up and ooh nice but yeah I don't know where the remote is so rip um, and yeah, plenty of room on the floor. You can literally dance in here. 
The only thing I'm worried about, oh, this, I'm gonna put all of my cables and controllers and wires in there. And I have like 15 seasons of South Park in here. I don't know how many. I haven't been getting them lately, but those are all DVD South Park collectors. Old, 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 old stuff. Uh, I have s console stuff. Stuff to put shelves. Oh, I have to show you this. I mean, this is pretty cool, but it's nothing to write home about. But let me show you this. So, Rogi Bear, I'm looking at you specifically since you will be in this room in like a week. So here, I think I want to do this. Watch this. So I think... So I think... I'll, I'll, I have two of these strips, but I only need one. But the point is, is I want to run them on the bottom and in the corner back here. Um, not to really, not to help you see. I mean, because you don't need to see. There's nothing to see here. I don't want to do too much blue. Blue is really good, but I don't want to do too much blue. But again, imagine this isn't squiggly and it's nice and tight along the bottom. I think it'd be pretty sick. So yeah, that's my idea and I'm sticking to it. So yeah, guys, that's it. Nothing else to really show off. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. This is a... Uh, Mega Marino's stream Mega Man collectible room slash almost drum room so far. 2020, big boy edition. So now if I can just sit in the chair and play some video games, we'll be in good shape. But I'm more excited to just stand here and talk about nonsense. But yeah, I think this light will be sick if it's uh, hooked up the right way. So let me remind you, I'm missing a ton of stuff. But again, we're not talking about it. So yeah, 